Brian appeared, and he put me on my 12, not in what I mean. Uh, oh, okay, no, I, never, I knew that. Uh, okay, something I want to go over quick. Uh, we, didn't, we never covered it, but it's fun because we've been seeing it. Uh, you probably know it. It's, he said, P, M, N, R. I think that's the spelling. My Norshoshi just means the altar. P is the. Ma is place. N is of. Er is do. Shoshi is sacrifice. So together is to sacrifice. Like you made it a verb. And together is the place where you where you sacrifice. So the altar. Uh, actually, it's not the one used in in uh, in Sahidic. They use the Greek word for it. Uh, but Baharic tends to use this one. So it's good to know when you see it. All right. Um, let's start. Let's start with uh, three each. Let's start with three each and see where we go. Who saw it last time? I think I was the last one one time, last time, uh, the prayer. So, Ben, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so, we are port, a type, jump, ML. So, I think that's. Yes, servant. I'm trying to remember what that word is. How about this cup? Cup. Oh, okay, thank you. So, see. the cup uh, which uh, belongs or uh, which belongs to. Um, why why belongs to? I, or I was thinking of like uh, my, no, et plus I. Cup which I. Uh, um, drank it or gem. I'm trying to remember the verb. Um, Jimmy, oh, uh, found cup which I found it there. Yes. That cup which I found, yes, okay, great. Okay, it's that cup which I found. Okay, cool. And then, uh, uh pinamos et a benuti a teeth m m mo. Cease. That's a capital move, right? Oh, Moses. Okay, right. There we go. Took me a second there. Okay, so uh, the law uh, which, um, let's see, the law which uh, God gave to Moses? Uh, yeah, gave, gave it. So back to the law. Right. M is na. So the contraction of na, I'll be like, like naf, remember? Right. So that's the indirect object right which yeah. when you have a word it actually looks the same both are m but remember it's coming from na like you would replace this with na rather than m of. okay okay very good uh give me the last one okay um so hov niven um et how i to nj and matetes or n yeah matetes so matetes um so uh hov niven see do you okay. just blanking on some vocab here? Hold is, um, I know Matetes is a student or the students, ni Matetes. Um, I'm just see, Inja is, um, uh, four, like, no, 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 um, it's motion toward, no, um, no, okay, mm. I'm thinking of Edgen, Jen, no, no. No. It's um it's used to introduce a subject a little bit. Oh, oh okay. It's a subject marker. Yes. So, so namely, namely the students. Yes. Okay. Uh, hope hope is is like thing, matter, work. Literally okay. just could use thing. Sure. And then what's okay. new? Okay. Um even is everything. Um, yes. Hold even is everything uh, which uh, the student or everything which is um, ethos uh, worthy. Not uh, which is. Which, or, what, what's our? Which are worth. All things which are worthy because it's plural, right? 
uh, Al is like. Wait, where'd you get words? Oh, I was thinking. Um, um, I the, thought like I. The for word is emsha. Uh, let's do one oh. part by part. So et et yeah. is which? It's which good. and then it's What's um, it? it's um u, but it's all it's combined elided with eta, so etau. Mm, no. No. So it's they. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Like, and then. What's I? Do, I thought that was a Greek word for a second. Okay, um, that's I the thought. that's a pre-nominal. Oh, okay. Or nominal form of a verb. Which verb? Okay. Um, so it's it's I. And so the verb is I. D. Eight. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, this is a, the pre-nominal form. Okay. It's not T. It's. Iri. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's one of those regular ones. Okay. Yes. That's why I was guessing those are pretty regular ones. Sorry about that. Okay. Which, so, it's fine. You'll see it a lot, and it's confusing, but you'll know it. And that's uh, the one that means uh, to, uh, to uh, not to do. Right. You just wrote yeah. it. Do. Which they did, and then what's okay. the O at the end? Uh, it's um, it's to them. Yes, uh, not to them. It's the works. So every work or everything which they did. They did them. them. Referring back to the subject. No, they referring to, back to. Yes, 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 yes. To the um everything. To the everything. The world. So then the sub, and then namely the disciples. The disciples. Okay. So the first, this okay. first how is here right the second u is this one i see yeah okay so everything which they did namely the disciples yeah in english you would say like every work that, that the disciples did that would be okay. the better english okay work so work is a good sort work, of like or thing. it's like okay. something that happened or deed maybe yeah yeah okay it's a very vague name I mean, okay got it great thanks uh cool uh, David, next three. Pip neuma ena katron kriton et af nodge evol. I had the the evil spirit which he cast out. Yeah, that's good. So the evil from akatharton or the spirit, mm -hmm. and then this is evil. So but I think it should be the evil spirit, which. He knew Jeff cast it out. Amazing. Next one. Bishiri etas mas, and I had uh, the son whom she bore. The son whom she, yeah, bore in the him. But we have whom, so we would not write him in English. Okay, give me one more. We can repose it as an NF A plus high. Um, the the fruit which she brought to her husband. Yeah, perfect. The fruit which she N is brought it and what's N N from the verb? Ini. Uh, Ini. Yeah. Ini. N. 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 I'm going to guess. I think it's N. I think it stays as N. I think. Actually, let's not make up stuff. Ini and N. And she had to add something to be like N. Uh, which she brought it to her husband. Uh, Yes, hi, it's right. Okay. Uh, great. Okay, number three. Pijaji eta eta ni matoi shenf. The enemy, which the soldiers shenf. Shenf from shini, right? Uh, and remember, it's the opposite of Jimmy. So, Shen. So, 
Sorry, I'm blanking. Is she the... Um... What is she? What did you guys have Shen as? I was thinking followed, but I'm not sure. Yeah, um, I had I had saw it like went after Shay. Or Shay. This is like went him. If you use Shen, I have a feeling it's um it's not a proper translation. Let me see. Yeah, I think you'd have to have um the preposition um normally to be um like ha or ha. Shine. Um like sh uh, shine. it's the verb shini, right? But does it make in this kind of make sense here? Matoy is soldier. It's Jimmy. Shini. To inquire. Oh, and then it'll be Shen. Yeah, like the, the pass is sought. Okay. Yes. That's what I was looking for. Because, yeah, I remember Shini is the opposite of Jimmy. So that's how I just have it memorized. So Jimmy, then the opposite is. Shini. This one is find, and then this one is search. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking of um of Moshe, and then um uh, or Moshi, and then um uh, Ensa. Yeah, yeah. That would be, would be similar. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know why I blank for a second, but it is yeah, that makes sense. Stop him. Pihat et penimatoi jump. So the money which it penimatoi. So now let's go with nimatoi first. So the soldiers and MPOB did not and then gem, like we said earlier, we find did not find it. The money which the soldiers not find it. All right, last one. Petas must up as high. Um, this is a typo. Yeah, this is the one that literally just made absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, this one is as common in all this one. He, this one is he has this type everywhere so the one that she bore him to her husband yeah when you see peta he's most likely it's most likely a mistranslation all right, I think we have Peter. How's it going, Peter? It's been a while. Been skipping. Hi, sorry. It's uh, just work till late hours. No, no problem. Welcome back. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Give us uh, the next three. Um, all right. I, I'll try. I, I didn't really like watch the last lecture, but uh, give it a go. Um, so, Netao, uh, Eno. Sorry, sorry. Let me fix you a few things. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, sorry. Uh, it's a bad one. Uh, okay. Keep, yeah, keep going. So, Neyatao uh, Eno Sharon. Um... So is it like what's the niet, uh, niet? Niet is like um, the the things that mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. yeah um, I'm not sure what the n n it's the pre nominal form of ini and ini means to ini. Bring. Oh, nice. So oh, just like Egyptian, yeah. Uh, or Middle Egyptian, I should say. So the ones that 
they uh, brought mm -hmm. um and I remember you said Shah is like she, like in French. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so at uh, or, or to us. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then theta uh, ten I F. So um, the the one. Uh, which you all uh, hmm. is is it same like like bring bring or block? No. So oh. this is sorry, eerie. R I. That's the verb eerie to do. To do. Hmm. But so the the R basically disappear disappears from the because it's like yeah it's here. actually in Sahidic it's not just I it's A uh, so you have a goal to stop so that's where the R went oh okay got you so um, the one which you all um, um, did did it or yeah did yeah. And just so it's not confusing when we say the ones or the one, we're not necessarily talking about a person. It's like the thing, or more precisely in, in Baharic, that which y'all did it. So it's not mm. as when we say fiet or niet, it's just referring to a thing in Baharic. And Sahidic actually just use like the thing. Um, in uh, in Baharic, it likes to say that which y'all have done. So let's do, and then for niet, the next one will be like these. Or actually, those which the rest of the sentence. Oh, I see. So it's it depends on the um, you know yep. the, the object itself. It can be like uh, yeah. Uh, so it's not really yeah, it's not really a person. Nietan Jemu Emau. So um, the things. Um, Uh, you, uh, I mean, they, they found no, it. No, 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 oh, no. It's on. What's on? On, um, yeah. Um, what always takes an M? Uh, we. Yes. So things which we found. Mm -hmm. um, and then them there. Yes. Those which mm. are out there. Those, yeah, them is like those uh, people obstacle. doesn't it's it doesn't say it's just these which we found there. Okay. All right, nice. Um, okay. Let's do. We got three each, and make it easy. These are imperative. All right. Uh, who's next? Ben, you're up. Um, so then, uh Tas svo. Mm -hmm. um, so um, let's listen to the. Um, it's an imperative, right? So listen to the. Um, Not that. Word. What's that? Oh, uh, to my. Yes. And it's a feminine noun. I'm forgetting what svo is. Svo is teaching. Okay, teaching. Yeah. Great. Uh, ti svo is to teach. Okay. To teach and actually Jizvo is the Jiuchi. I think Jizvo is to learn or basically to be educated. Do you know if it's related to that um word for teacher wise person that's used? Like Save. Save? Because the, the um I have a feeling constants are similar, so it might be. Okay. Cool. There's a chance. Okay, cool. Um then um uh seti eroti. Pashiri. Um, so, so, so that's you. No, but no. So, say is a verb. Say, okay. Okay, Let's see, say, I was thinking that T was the verb. So, okay, that's that up, All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm blanking. I'm sorry. Say it's drink. Drink? 
Okay. Okay. So uh, form. it's the uh, pre uh, pronominal. Pre nominal. Pre nominal. Okay. Next part is uh, the next part's a noun with the definite article. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So uh, drink it. Uh, no. No. Is no. A definite article. Right. Drink the um, cup. What no. do we want little babies to drink? Uh, well, it's an imperative. Yeah. What do we What do we want little babies to drink? Bottle. No, it's 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 white. Oh, milk. Okay. So thank you. Sorry, it's a word for milk. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty tired today, guys. If you haven't noticed. Okay. Right. Drink the milk. Okay. Uh, my child. Yes, my child. Child's okay. Or my son. Yeah. Both are good. All right. Give me the next one. Uh, sure. So nai nai pa choice. Wait, this so, is, uh, this is... na, nai pa, or nai ni pa choice. Yes, the, the nai is, uh, that's how you say it in, in Sahidic. You say nai, the next one. But Sahid, in Bahari, it's nai. Okay, Bahari, it's different. Um, there are different spellings for them. Um, yes. So uh, this is, um, this is nai meaning si? No, um, no. other one's now. Now, okay. Um, Definitely an imperative. It's definitely a verb here, so it's imperative. Mm -hmm. So, um, in Greek, it's eleison. Okay. It's not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, sing. No, this will oh, be so in Greek. This will be like this. Uh, now we have mercy. Oh right, okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then what's I the have uh, have mercy on uh, on me. Mm -hmm. What's my choice? Um, my lord or yes. oh lord, because it's an uh, evocative. Yeah. Oh my lord or my lord. Yes. Yeah. It actually, works both ways. Great. Okay. Um, and actually, yeah, in Arabic, you actually put the equivalent of an O, so it makes sense. All right. Awesome. Who's next, David? This one I had trouble with. Um, Emperor Jos and Hri and Romi. Mm -hmm. um, the best I can do is uh, don't say, uh, yeah, don't say anything. Don't say anything to the man. Uh, Uh, that's what I would have thought. Actually, so was my first intuition, but there's no indefinite article here. And and with that, I literally have I have I have nothing because there's no different article for the the hli. Uh, hli is mm, doesn't always take one. Okay. So it's, an, it's an adverb, or I don't know, or be let's call it an adverb. So let's do a step by one by one. What's the first so word? Would it, so would it so would it be don't say. What's emper? I uh, don't or did not. Yeah, what's just to say? Let's be, let's be more literal. What's yes, say it. All right. Okay, do not say it. Enhli is probably nothing here. Um, no. So, Hli and Romy. And Romy. Means any man. Okay. Don't say it to any man. Say to, yes, to any men. And this n, if you convert it, it'll be like like naf now, rather than emof. So this is the indirect object. The way I knew it, I thought it would be. I thought it would be. Do not say anything to any man, but. I knew it's not because Romy doesn't have any article. Um, so we know it, it has to be connected somehow as an adjective. So yeah, the the, the lack of article is is just maybe 
sort of throw throw my hands up in the air. Clean Rumi isn't always a word. You can say I saw nothing, uh, but Li can be like as an adverb. Like I saw none of. So do not say to basically any. So you wouldn't say to the any man. You would just say to to any man. So just take it as is. Okay. Clean Rumi. Li anything is just anything. All right. Al rey e nai entole tedro. Um, I had uh, preserve all these letters. Yeah, no, that's actually I would have gone with preserve as well. Preserve, and then just this, the object marker. So these commands, no, not not letters. Oh, commands. Okay. Yes. Commands all. So this will be here. All of these commands. And in Arabic, it just be these commands. So it works out nicely. Okay. Okay. The last one. Timshi and Pechois Peknuti. Worship the Lord your God. Uh, worship or surf. Or sir, I'll go serve. That's how we use it in the church. Worship the Lord your God. And if I remember correctly, Shemshi comes from a verb that means to follow in older Egyptians. So it used to mean follow, and now it means serve. Uh, Peter can correct me if I'm wrong, but I vaguely remember this. Either this or washed. But I think it was Shemshi. Shemshi means to follow and to be marked with a leg, by a leg in Egyptian somehow. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'll do the next three. Emperor Ko Eroi. Do not. Yeah, this is a typo. Yeah, let's just skip this one. He keeps translating it badly. Okay, ya pekho. This one is tricky, but it's nice. And you actually see it as one word that means wash your face. And I've seen yo being used earlier in a weird way. No, in a weird way, it's pre noun form. Where did it go? It's fine. So it's yo for wash, and then ya for pre noun form to wash your face. Emper she etir erimos. Do not go to the Erimos members of wilderness or desert. Um, not sure if it's correct. Uh, remember, Terimos is uh, done in Greek, so I'm not sure if the translation is accurate. Are e tapsiki pa choice. So guard or preserve. Preserve. Eric's half is. My soul, I'm just gonna add my own O. My word, okay. Uh, Peter, next. Uh, actually, let's skip then. I'm gonna skip this one as well. Um, all right, uh, Ani, so so, Ematoi, mm -hmm. Nemak. That's a good one. Um, so, so, um, is it like, like bring? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's the same the uh, imp imperative part of ini. Which ini is the bring. Okay. Now, how do you form the imperative form? Like, that's so we covered uh, last week. Uh, yeah, for I'm most verbs, that, yeah. we can go over quickly. For most verbs, they remain unchanged. Um, Let's cover them quickly. For most verbs, if you want to say walk behind, you just say moshi. You don't actually change anything. Some verb, uh, and then for negation of imperative, do not, you just add emper. That's it. You just add emper before any verb, and you're good. That's all mm -hmm. you need. Some verb take a before it. So now for c, it becomes a now. Say jo, you say a jo. Uh, open, you say a warm, a one. So that's one thing. 
um, some verbs change a little bit of forms. So you can say the verb iri becomes ari. Uh, ini, uh, so iri, so and then ini becomes ani or anit or aniwi. Uh, same for ali. Some verbs completely change. So um, we'll drop the causative, don't worry about this for now. And then the causative, and then there are some verbs that completely change, like to come, which is e, becomes amu. So completely change of form. That's like a completely different ver form. Eventually, they emerged to mean the same thing, like I go and I went. I remember, eventually, like these are two, they come from two different places, but they eventually merged to become one is the present and one is the past. Um, and actually, Coptic has some some of this. Uh, yeah, know, am Amoini is like a famous word too, like I've heard it before. Yeah, Amoini. Uh, Amoini tiruhe no rashi, we mentioned here. Means come. Please come, okay. Uh, just come. No, please. Come. Yeah. Oh, not that I know of. Uh, people say Khempe Kehmut, it's a literal translation from Arabic. Don't do that. If it's not yeah. attested. Yeah, thank, thank you for uh, reviewing that with me. Oh. So, uh, um, Anisu, so uh, bring a, a soldier with you. What's so? Um, so, uh, so is a, is a number. Is a number. Oh, so it's six. Six mm -hmm. Perfect. soldiers with you. Okay. Yeah, good one. Okay. Soldiers with you. All right, next one. Now, is this like a one word? Like, that's why he, they have a hyphen between uh, Ani and so? Because we're using Ani, which is the pre-nominal form. So usually the pre-nominal form are shortened because you want to attach it very, very closely to the word next to it. If you want to mention the full form, it'd probably be like Anitu. And then you can say Anitu Piso Ematoi, uh, like we saw here. It's just a pre-nominal form is always attached to the one that comes after, uh, like pre-nominal will be attached to the noun that comes after. Are we sorry? So just like aritf, ari, sorry, not ani. So here you see like anit, if you want to say, or anitu, if you want to say bring them, ani so, if you want to say bring six, aniwi, and then you eat, then this is where you can say and like p so. Hmm. This is the full form. Yeah, so uh, the pre nominal and the uh, pre pronominal are like uh, oh, you have to attach. Okay, yeah. gotcha. because that's that's the whole point. They're, they're actually shortened in the speech, like they're not a new tense, they're just a shortened way of saying the same verb because you 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 kind of put a little bit, a little bit of emphasis on the on the next word. So rather than say new we and so you just say any so you you shorten the word which is why the vowels can shift sometime because you put the stress on the word so they get the stress of of, of the of the of the word gotcha. you will see that most of them would not be stressed okay um emperor shamshi em Emip oro um emponeros etemau. So Shamshi is like uh, follow, so don't follow uh, the king of uh, Poneros is uh, like evil or something like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there's not it's uh, not the king of evil. Because you don't have an article here, so we know for a fact mm. it's not a noun. Not not a noun. It's not like yeah, a noun on its own. So what would it be? So it is like an adjective. No? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so don't me. follow the the evil king. Yeah, the wicked um, king. The wicked king uh, there. Uh, not there. Uh, there is no. that a mouth. But that, that, yeah, that, uh, that's, evil, that, so evil. That, evil king, that evil king at the mouth puts the that here. Gotcha. Perfect. That's great. Give you the next one. Uh, all right. Mernef Evos Henai is now. It's a difficult one. Um, 
It's broken down for you. We'll do the first part. What's matter? Matter. Uh, is it like like love or something? Like that? No, that's uh, merit. Me, oh, okay. More. More. Yeah, I remember this word, but I, it's just skipping my mind right it, now. Thai. Thai, yeah. Um, so Thai, his uh, clothes, clothes. That's what I vaguely remember. Um, I think he means feet, but we can go with clothes for now. I'm not, I'm not super sure about the translation. David can help us. Yes, yeah, all the yeah. Um I think I see a yeah. Okay. I think it's close, but okay. Let's go to the Um in mm -hmm. no, it's not. Uh, so what's nigh? And nigh like um to, to me or something like that? No. Nah, you will find us close to a verb. We're, we're so far from a verb. We're just before a noun. Before a noun. No, uh, so like these. Yes, yeah. These, yeah. Um, and then I'm not sure what's now. Uh, fetters or chains. Chains. OK, cool. Thank you. Uh, ben. OK, um, let's see. Uh, Chitaf Shah Biarki Aram Aros or Aros Aros. So it's great. So cheat Chitaf give. Not give. It's the opposite. Give. Uh, take. Mm -hmm. Take it. Thank you. Uh, take it. Um, from, probably take, probably take oh, him. Take him. Uh, Shah. Is that from? That's uh, the other side. Other side. Two. Oh, two. Okay, take him to um the. Oh, the archbishop. No, archpriest. Archpriest. Okay, Eros. Eros. Okay, got it. Take him to the archpriest. Okay, and then um, Amahi Amoth. Is okay. This is an imperative. So this word has so many meanings. No. So, okay. can you guess which one it is? Hmm. I don't think. Seize. Okay. It's one of the meanings. It just so it's an imperative. Seize him. Yes. Uh, what what is the base word for that? Is it amahi to begin with, or is it yeah, ma? Just mahi. Mahi. Okay. All right, and then um, a now a a pre and etpe. So. This is an imperative where you have now to see, but then it's like look or uh, yep. look at uh, the uh, room in oh. not room pre um, house. No, I'm blanking here. The door, door, right? No, oh, man. Okay, raw is door. Re is room. A is house, E is house, okay. Sun, oh, that one, okay. Yep, the raw array one, okay. The sun, that's the sun. Ah, okay, great, okay. So this is bad advice, like you hurt your eyes, just kidding. But I'll look at the sun in um, in uh, the sky. Yes, and that's how you get blind. Please don't do that. At no, the bad time. advice. People on YouTube, very bad advice, don't do that. So. That's why Egyptians were conquered. They would look at their gods in the sky and then they get blind and they lose the war. So sad. So sad. Uh, okay, I think. Awesome. Thank you. Did it all. Yep. Did three. Yep. Great. Yep. David, next. Muti a pekson pasheri. I had call your brother, my son. Call. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Next one. And then Eldre Edron Nem and then Matoy guard us and our uh, soldiers. Yeah. 
No, no, not guard us. Uh, no, sorry, not guard us and our soldier. Uh, I mean, it works, but what do you mean by end? With, I, I was, I was, I was, that was my initial, but I wasn't too certain. Uh, yes, like in English, it works both ways guard us and our soldiers, but I just want to make sure it means and our with our soldiers. Uh, there is, that's how it shows, like in Coptic, it's just the same. You just add mm -hmm. one thing to us. Um, yeah, I, I guess I guess the only distinguishment is um, who you're speaking to, because um, guard us and our soldiers. I think it would be more so like uh, asking, let's say, God, guard us, guard us and our soldiers, like protect us, versus guard us with our soldiers would be more so speaking to somebody who has control over our soldiers to be used. You can still tell, tell God guard us with our soldiers. So I guess I guess it still also works. It's just this new. If there is a new one, it's lost in Coptic. I don't think there is. Uh, mm. it, I mean, no, there is, but you can live without it very easily. I okay. kind of think about this name as like a lot of uh, parallel with the English along with. Um, yeah, yeah. Because they can mean both. Yes. The name is just adding another thing to it. Mm -hmm. So whether it's right. with or and, just adding. Uh, along with is actually a good a good idea because you can actually do it in um, in singular. So you can say Anok Nim Nim Ben. Actually, that's that's bad. Uh, I can say Af Af Shinaf. Uh, sorry, I Shinai. So I Shinai. So I went in J. Well, terrible in J. You know what I mean? In J Anok Nim Nim Ben. Uh, so you can always use it in, in a singular form. Okay. All right, next one. Emperor Joe, Empanto, Evo. I don't. Um... Just to fix it. Jaws. Don't look upon my face. Look. Why look? I, I don't I don't know what uh, Joe. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's that's Sahidic. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we'll drop drop one of the O's. Okay, okay. So so it is. You know, don't uh, don't speak to my face. Yeah, don't speak. Yeah, that's actually a good one. I was gonna say don't say it, but it works. It works perfectly. Uh, I will go for in my presence. Because there's actually the expression of in my face. Like, mm. This expression exists. And there's also the expression of before me. So that's why I want to go with in my presence. It's the meaning that's captured here. Uh, you finish all three, right? Yeah. And it's also nice that uh, the in my presence is kind of works in English as well. Yeah. Sort of say it to my face or. Yeah. Just yeah. me being around. Mm -hmm. All right. I tave in Okuji emo. So I te is give. So I gave it. I tave. Um, that doesn't make sense. Wait, isn't the opposite of give? Uh, that would be chi as g, but no, it's like the the f at the end is wrong. Um, oh, okay, yeah, because this is t, but okay. yeah, let's actually change them, change it quickly. So this is supposed to be uh, looking at the original. It's all right. The whole sentence is bad, uh, but wait, am I looking at the right one? Yeah, just the whole thing. Actually, the one after is a proper translation. Uh, I don't know what's, what's on the bubble. Uh, the reason I'm saying it's wrong, actually, let me explain why it's wrong so you get the train of thought what happened. Um, the reason I'm saying it's wrong is because you have an F. An F that means I give it. So I have an object. So what's put, what, 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 what in Ukuji becomes? You can think of it as indirect object, but I already have an indirect object. So that means I give it to the little. And you can say even to the littles because it's, uh, you can say to a little of them. I give it to a little of them, but 
It doesn't make a lot of sense. That's why I'm we need another noun there to be like I gave it to a little person. That doesn't work as a substantive. The thing with the yeah. F in the beginning is like you're isn't, isn't isn't this just water? Mo, water. Um, Would that work? I gave him a little water. Yes, but that's the F. What, what do you do with the F? Now you have two direct objects. You can't have two direct objects. I mean, you can't. Oh. I mean, I don't know if you can or not, but you. It will be I gave. So actually, that's actually the next sentence. That's why the next sentence is more right. So if we remove this, the next sentence fixes it for us. Because then we can say, give to him a little or a bit of. Actually, I like a bit of because we have uh, the M. So, uh, so we have the uh, we have the bit, we have the of, and then we have the water. With the first sentence that you crossed out, could it be I gave a little water and it, there's no direct object? Or, oh, sorry, there's a direct object, but there's not an indirect object. So they're, you're not giving it to anyone. It's just I gave a little yeah. water. So they're yeah. both direct Which is objects. Fine. So you, you, could, you could have said IT, just not IT. Okay, so the F on the end doesn't work. Is what makes it wrong. So I give a, a bit of water. That, this is perfectly fine. But if it was just IT, that would have worked perfectly. It just okay. Because the, this is not a verb that gets reduplicated with the, um, the yes. pronoun. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if he was trying to put the naf into the verb, but it doesn't work. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's do the next one. Ani met in Romi epaima. So. So bring 10 men to this place. Amoini is kamiol. It's very specific to this plural. Amoini achun. So come inside to the temple. Uh, Peter, you're up. Uh, is it my turn? Yes. Um, all right. So I'm Ame Sharoi Da Sherry. Is it imperative as well? Yes. Ame. It's Ame. feminine of the verb just above it. Oh, so come mm -hmm. to, to me. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Yeah, perfect. My side. Okay. okay, so this one is ten ten zeno So it's from Tasbaha, so it's yeah. like uh, arise uh, ar arise above. Um, children of the light. Translate the sentence. Don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> so it's. Uh, I I mean it's like ten 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 is like arise, right? Yes. So no no okay let's break it apart. Um, you know actually it took me forever until I figure out ten thin is. Uh, I was always like hmm I've never seen this before. Uh, what's 10? So 10, I'm going to tell you, it's a pre-pronominal form. What do you think the verb is from from uh, from all the patterns we've seen? What do you think 10, mm. the full form would be? Uh, like T? No. Like, okay. uh, by that I mean a lot of the E's were originally what? So, oh, we're, we're uh, omega. So it's, uh... Yes. Yes. Like tone. What's tone? Tone. Uh, I remember this was something I studied I before. Is rise. Rise. So yes. So rise. So but so we have tone. Ten. 
and then ton. So aftonf would look like this. And then any pre-normal form, you would have it after ton. However, with y'all, it was a little bit confusing that they actually opted that's strictly in um, in Buhayrik, I believe. Actually, no, 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 it also exists in Sahidi. They, they took the pre-nominal form and added the whole form thenu after, only, only when you say yo. So you can say aftonf, but you actually would say a te ten, ten thenu. Um, this is what happened. So they just took this form because you have a kind of like a full noun after, rather than saying, but you would say an ton, like anton, if you want to ever say anton, aktonk, aftonf, but ateten thenu. Ateten, sorry, ten thenu. Uh, so this is where ten is a pre nominal form used as a pre pro nominal form, just because we're saying y'all. And it's the verb ton. And you can see why they're always attached to each other because tone has a stress, it's tone. But when you say, when you put in a pre form, the O becomes unstressed. So the, an unstressed O, like unstressed omega becomes an A. So it became tenteno. So the focus is on the theno rather than the tente. Not focus, the stress is the more proper word to say. So be tenteno. So what's ten again? Uh, so rise. What's theno? Uh, rise you all. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, now, is is Theno like um, independent, like an independent pronoun, or like? Not you Theno. It's all. Oh, okay. But if but, you want to say arise myself, I'll say taunt or taunt. A taunt. I'll say arise me. There's arise o me. So if I want to say arise my harp, I would say tonk o my kithara, uh, which is one of the hymns, one of the songs. So I'll say. Rise, y'all. What's it? Uh, uh, to uh, above. Yeah. So to the high. To the high. Yeah. Together, epsho. So actually, together, epsho just means upward. Epsho to the up. Mm -hmm. uh, the word, the name pisho means the high. So epsho be to the high. Uh, remember also Chosi or like it's also um are they the like same similar? I don't remember but I don't remember I, I don't know I don't remember but it's with a cha so we have Chosi and then chas and then she's sorry cheesy cheesy sorry it's cheesy chas and then Chosi is a uh, quality that we're gonna study later and then actually here I don't remember for like out of chess or something actually I don't know it's just We'll get to it. We'll get the quality to cheesy in some, some point. All right. Good work. I think you still have one more. Uh, all right. So, imper sempiro. Oh, oh, we just said that word. Um, What's imper? So, imper is like do, don't. Yeah. Don't. Uh, is it close? Don't close. Yeah. Yeah. What's the full form of the verb? It must be like thom or perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, and then piro is like um, the the mouth or the no it's on the, uh, the the door. The door. Mouth is top pro. Oh. He could be at the dentist. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will work too. Uh. I wish this question was for uh, the sentence was for Ben. He always liked to call anything a door. Yeah, no, it's my go to when there's a. a, a <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, Peter, just do one more. Just finish it. I have one more. Jo Nemai Hen Ishmani in a vote. Sorry, sorry. Uh, just... Yeah, no. Um, no. No, yeah, it's about translation. He always translates the sentence. Uh, just so you know why this happens, uh, there's a verb called cho in Sahidic, and cho means to stay. So he always he trans mistranslates to jo. 
because sometimes they're interchangeable. But I mean, I don't know about this case, but Joe has a meaning. Um, could be, but I don't know. I'm just gonna stay uh, stay safe. Yeah, because I, I had the chance to speak with me in eight months, which kind of worked, but kind of. Nah, good work. Let's keep it safe. Okay, uh, who's next? We have Ben. Uh, do you want to do two or three? Uh, I'll I'll start with two. See how it goes. Um, mpu and me and uh, mpu and me any at a a tough Joel now. Uh, so mpu is uh don't no 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 they, no they don't they they no they don't we only oh. learned one tense and it's not present. Right, right. Uh, they did not. Yes. Um, Emmy is at this. Um, okay, no. Okay, we did not. Okay, they don't know, like me. Okay, uh, they don't know uh, the um, shape. I'm trying to know this. This one is um, similar in English. Parabola. Um, Not that English. <laughs> yeah, no. That's why I was always blanking. Um, yeah. Uh, Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's much easier than thinking about math. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they don't know the parables, um, which uh, uh, he told them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now to them, which he told to them. Um, to them. Yeah. For. M-E-A. M-E-A says that it's like to understand. Yeah. Which. That makes more sense with parables, yeah. Yeah. OK. And then um, Al-Amahi. Uh, just and... one thing, keep in mind, we have the song. Just so Oh, also while we're uh, comparing things, um, I was at some point could we write down the um, the different verbs that start have like are sim similar that like have an, uh, start with I. So there's e and then iri, and um, there's another one that's uh, pretty similar that's in. So I just want to make sure we have them. Or I have them, uh, Wait, ahead. what do you mean with e? Uh, there, there's sort of a there's e that means to. Um, oh, e come. They come, and then there's eerie that is to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another one that's also kind of so that's in that's to bring, e to bring, or eeny to bring, yeah. So those they're really common and they're pretty similar. So I just you know, hope to see them. So and was then there's also uh, this emmy, but that's like different. That means to understand or no. Mm -hmm. But understand the sense of or know the sense of like recognize, I guess. So. Yeah, I like recognize. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to see those all together. Uh, for Arabic speakers, they actually have distinct meanings. This one is Yarif. This one is actually Yalam. This one is Yafam. So this one is like, so is like more like knowledge. Emmy is, is more like. No, knows well. Comprehension? Is yeah. That no, not really. Kati is more like comprehend. Okay. Or understand. So it's more like, I know that, let's say, I know this person exists. Emmy is, has a more closer, like, I actually understand and know how it exists. Uh, so you can tell mm -hmm. me, do you know there is God? I would say, I am me. There is a God. I'm emphasizing that I actually just don't just know there's a God. It's like I, I know for a fact. Uh and understand. There's it's there's more. Maybe Peter can explain better if he can tell the difference between even the two Arabic words. Uh it the two the Arabic words carry the same meanings as in Son and Emi and Kati. They translate almost one to one. Is it like um the difference between uh like uh like perception and um seeing you know 
like understanding and and the reason i'm i'm saying maybe so on because maybe uh there is like an egyptian god called sia and i i don't know he's the god of perception so that's how i remember this word but like the difference between perception and actually on understanding like seeing and realizing kind of, yeah it's like yeah so maybe like you know something exists uh it's like you can say i saw in physics that means you know physics exists and then if you say i am physics you actually know like you actually really know physics and then i caught you physics like you can actually look at relativity like oh i know how it works that's understanding so it's more like you understand the complexity emmy is more like i understand its existence and so on is more like just know that it exists like very simple i don't want to say superficial and deep um because you would say i i know my wife like you wouldn't say i emmy my wife uh because not there's it's not like that's just like uh the word used actually for it in arabic is from the word science the word for realm it's like it's kind of like i science something but it's not really mean science but it means uh You'll get it once you do more sentences. I think I think using something that's less intense than God for um, an example would help. Like I know the book. Like I know, I know this book. Like I know book. A book is something that exists. I say I know. I know this book. The reason, the reason I used God is there is the concept of God and there's the uh, the the relationship with God. Okay. So there's one where I know God exists. Right. And there's one like I am. You know, I guess like. I know for a fact because I have experience because there is more than just more someone than just, who knows God on a spiritual level versus yeah. someone who just knows that God exists is yes. a different thing. But it's, so it's not knowledge with depth. That's not what it means. It's not like I know God deeply. Um, it's more like I actually do know for a fact, not just an idea that I know. Uh, coffee. If you say uh, I and I understand God, then that means you actually understand how God exists. But that's beyond me. Okay. Uh, so, so like someone would be like a, a deist, whereas like some generic yes, yeah, idea of a god, and then Emmy would be. So Emmy would be any particular god, and then I guess for this case, Kati would be a deeper knowledge of a particular god. Kati is understand. Kati is strictly understand, understand and comprehend. Okay. Uh, Okay. We'll see more in examples, but just know that ME does mean knowing and understanding, but in the lesser than just cut, which just means I comprehend. And so just means like I know. Like I know your name. You wouldn't say I am your name. Um, mm -hmm. If you say I am your name, that means it looks like, I mean, you can, because in Arabic, you can actually use both of them. Do any of these have to do with the sense, uh, any of the senses? Because that's something that happens in Greek. Um, no. where you have like to see you have a form of the verb to see uh that becomes the verb to know um no, so, no. okay that's good that doesn't happen here that is kind of confusing so right. we'll get we'll more from examples so you can see how emmy is used with parables um so if i saw in a parable that means i've heard of it before if i emmy a parable like i know what he means and if i caught he a parable that means i know exactly what he intends to say by saying this parable so you can say the disciples, Emmy, the parables, but did not cut the parable. And then the the Pharisees sown the parable. So they kind of but like they've heard of them. They know that they exist, but they don't really understand yeah, them. Like no, okay. kind of no. Love. Okay, cool. That's interesting. There's like a different different level of knowledge acquisition in there. Yes, so. yes. Cool. Um, I think the best way to learn them is just like you see from examples. Uh, but yeah, just know these three can mean the same thing. And if you actually understand everything as no, you'll be fine. But just so you know, they're coming. Nice. All right. Uh, try the next one. And Ben. Oh, I'm going. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm distracted on that. So we're on um, Al Al Mahi, Amoth, Enje, Nimatoi. Stop here. Oh. Let's, let's do this one. Okay. Just that first half. Okay, sure. Uh, so uh, they let's see. Hmm? Yeah. Mahi. What's a mahi? He did it before. I did. Um, I think he said it. 
They know it's not they know that was I mean they see that's yeah see yeah oh sees oh seized okay I did not know that so this is okay they seized him right I did have this before mm -hmm. um they seized him um uh and Jen, namely the soldiers so the sold meaning the soldiers seized him yeah. um all right uh, that's the next part okay. so that's the next phrase I see so then um Almorf or Al Almorf on Noj. Eh. Just stop at Almorf. What's Almorf? Uh, they uh, tied him. Yeah, they tied him. Okay, next part. And then um, Al Noj. Um, and then as something. So they uh, threw him. Mm -hmm. And it's probably down, but uh, I'm not sure if it's. They threw. Sorry, they what? Probably they what? They threw him and then eh. What's that? Two. It's two, mm -hmm. but I don't know what is it. Oh, p piesteko, piesteko. So um, to the ground. Not ground. No, not ground. Um, to the piesteko. If the police comes and catches you and ties you. Oh, prison. Yep. Or jail. Okay. Yeah, prison. Okay, sweet. Do you want to do one more, or are you sure. good? Uh, I can do one more. If that's all right with you guys. Um, all right. So a puami and je uh pimish je and tof p uh p Christos. So let's do all the way till J. Okay. Let's see. So they they did not uh they don't know. Not don't, no. Oh. They do not uh they did not know. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep it in past tense. They didn't um they didn't know, um, namely uh, the crowd. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Okay. yeah. And then Jet is just that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he uh, was or was Christ. Uh, yes. He is Christ. Yeah. Right. Yes. I was wondering about the tense there too. So okay, cool. Uh, just so you see, so here is an example of they didn't know or they didn't understand. It's kind of like they didn't realize. Um, I see. There's not really nothing uh, unlike the first first sentence the parable you can say didn't know or didn't understand uh so it's more like actually understand and the next one is like they didn't know uh, Got it. and it's a little bit different than stone and the tense can shift um in certain contexts here so that's just fine. when you say j so once you say j that he is christ okay they didn't know that he's christ uh actually actually it works in english they didn't know that he's christ right I think he was the christ but he's christ still kind of Fully locally works. Yeah, that works. Cool. All right. Uh, David, next. All right. Nine Nisaji MP Diablos MP Sotzmu. No, I'll just fix it quickly. Okay. Uh, these are the words of the devil. Don't listen to them. Yeah. These are the words. Of the devil, do not pop quiz. What's the full sentence? What's the full form of so? So them. Perfect. Can you guess the pre-nominal form? That's fine. We'll skip. Don't worry about it. I realize I actually don't remember. Uh, but it probably has an E. It will have an A somewhere. So tame. So tame, maybe. I mean, so tame is the word. Probably probably not set. Maybe set him, but it doesn't sound right to me. So I thought it would be set him, but I'm like, it doesn't, doesn't sound right. Maybe I haven't seen it enough. I'd, I'd definitely be able to recognize it in, a, yeah. in writing. Concerts all that matters. All right, next part. Afemi and now J uh, Pethiot more and for this I had he knew the hour that his father died yes yeah. or the time yeah I guess he, time would probably be better the time you the uh, time died. right 
Axel? Ni eta adre edroten ilvochen ni jaji. And I had, uh, who did he um, guard you guys from the enemies? Yeah. Who? Who? Uh, who did you? No, it will be. It will be. This doesn't make sense. You'd have you need to have this. Okay. So nim. So because otherwise nim eta. It's who, which is. But that's not what you want to say. You want to say it is who that preserved you. That's why I would say betaf. Who's that? Uh, who's that? He guarded you guys. He said, well, "Yeah, you see." He said, "Who is that?" This is is the pay. So who is that? Or it is who that? That's why uh, watch out for things like this. Like nimeta, be like who is who is that? Like you want to say who is that? Or it is who? So they're the same thing. That. So nimpeta, so it is who or who is I like who is who is that he and are he said guard guard yeah guard yo if we'll hand together is from the enemies throw more right yeah did you do three or four or two I did three okay as my next one. Of Jok Abel in the Ho Empif Shemshi. He Jok Abel together is completed or perfected or fulfilled or finished the days of his service. So Shemshi now means more like service rather than follow, but originally it comes from follow. Araf Sri to Moshe. Amuti Roy Empiran Empayot. They called me or I remember this guy, I was called, or I was named, they use the same way, the name of my father. I shem shinaf in sashfi, oh, see what you mean, all uh, right, sashfi, in sashfi rompi, I, oh, poor Jacob, I served him seven years. All good. Um, next is Peter. Okay. Uh, oh, Ehli, Ehli, uh, Pe, Ho, uh, Niven, Eta, Kiri. So, um, what's Ohli Pe? How's that with us? Ohli is like, uh, any. Uh, anyone maybe or I'm not sure no so we said uh, he means like anything um, so like even in Arabic we say ayahaga it's ayahaga the ayahaga literally means nothing like it's not of worth so ohli pay means it's nothing or it's not of worth or in, in Egyptian we just say the ayahaga So, so like nothing. Yeah. But obviously, remember we say "hli" in Romi. That means any man. So, like "ayahad" does not mean no one. It means anyone. But if you just say it's "ayahaga," it means it's it's nothing. It's not a voice. Like, you know what I mean in Egyptian? Yeah. Yani ay aw aw, masalan. Like ay kalam. Wala, wala hag. Yeah. When you say like ay kalam, it means like any words, but it literally means like nothing. But you can just say, you can also say any man. Uh, so so it's like indefinite or like um, like negation or like something indefinite, like yeah, like it's not a like a defined thing. You know, yes, thing. yeah, it's not yeah, it's not defined. So it's either nothing or it's like any man. So we're not defining which man, but there is still a man involved. Gotcha. Okay. So in this case, just means it's nothing. So Ehlipe means. Uh, nothing is. It, it is nothing. It, it is nothing. Okay. And then we continue the sentence. Uh, hope is like uh, every everything. Yeah, hope even is everything, every work, every deed, every anything. 
So every, every, every everything. So it's nothing, everything. Uh, well, let's let's. Uh, oh, okay. Let's keep going. Let's hold even. Uh, which you it uh, did. Yeah, which you have done. I like it. I've so done. remember when we have indefinite article, we have the predicate, which is al khabar, and then you have pay after, and then the subject because they they have to come right after each other, and then the subject or the al mutada can come before. Or after. So I can say, I want to say, my father is a man for some reason. You want to make that clear. Um, or my brother is a, actually, no, it's still, it's still the same. let's say my father is, is, a, is a teacher. So you can say, my father, so let's say, if I want to say, my father is a teacher because he said a teacher indefinite. You have to say usah pe, and then you can put payot here or there. Payot usah pe, or usah pe payot. Uh, unlike in unlike in indefinite, if you're saying my father is a teacher, just say payot pe pisah. Uh, so that's the thing. You basically it is nothing. Every work which you have done, so English can be every work that you've done. It's nothing. So the pay makes this khabar. And the subject can come anywhere. Oh, I see. So it's like, you know, if it, it like it's a rule to have like the predicate first, if it's like uh, indefinite? Yes, it must. Indefinite, in, indefinite you can say payot. This can mean it is my father who is that is a teacher, or the, my father is a teacher. It's it's more flexible with with definite, but most likely you read this as my father is is our teacher. If it's indefinite, it must be usahpe. Whatever comes before the pe is the predicate, which is al khabar, and then the subject can come anywhere. I see. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you give me, give me the next right. one? Uh, uh, P. Uh, Diabolos. Uh, Diabolos. Uh, N. F A. T. Eremos. So the the devil uh, brought him okay. nice. to the um, desert. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's accurate in Bahir, but it's Tarimus in Greek and in Sahidic. But because in uh, Bahir it could be like Shaf Shafi, right? He, he had this yeah. Word um, also, yeah, it sounds weird. It looks weird, but it's fine. We'll see it often, so we'll just get used to it. And it's a noun. I'm not too concerned about nouns. Okay. All right, give me one more. I think. Um, it it they o, uh, in beten emi, e nasvo. Uh, so why, um, why we we didn't? Not we. There'll be uh, you. Mm -hmm. You you all didn't uh, understand. I like understand. Um, I think the A is like an uh, like object marker. Yes. Um, Nazvo, like uh, so. hmm. no. Na is like my. Mm -hmm. So it's teaching. Teaching. Okay. Great. Okay, back to you. And how many do we have? Oh, okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Um. So I um. Uh, uh, seized the book. Um, mm. I'm sorry, I seized all the books. No, 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 that doesn't work. It's funny that you got Amahi every time he sees, but not in this case. Uh, I held, you, I held all the books. What do you call something that you seized in your head? I understood all the books. No, or read. 
even if you didn't comprehend it, what if he sees okay. it? What if you memorized? Oh, it can be memorized? Yes. I did not realize that. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's another word that also, it means to untie, but it also means to translate. So it's a yeah. different word completely, but. Yeah. Um, uh, in Arabic actually means yafas, which works very well. Uh, uh, actually in, in Arabic, the same on in Egyptian, also in Arabic. Uh, the mm -hmm. word for memorize is um, to actually guard. Oh. Uh, not guard, um, to keep. To yeah. Keep, yeah. Like, like I can see that, like uh, keeping keeping something holy or keeping um, cool. All right. Uh, but okay, keep going. So I memorized what? Okay, uh, I memorized uh, the entire book. Uh, the, I like book. the entire book for Egyptians. That means el book kolo. So it works nicely. The entire book, okay. basically all of the book. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, uh, let's do one by one, one each. So David, next one. All right. I talk with the a name. Mm. Um, I had. Who did you call? No. Uh, no. Wait. Because you have the name at the end, and then the etta, which I forget the name of the tense. So who did? Hmm. Um. My first intuition was, what did they call you? Because I guess I guess like yeah, that names take name rather than yeah, 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 yeah. what is your I, name? Say name Pepe Cran. What, what do it, they call you? Yeah. Oh, that works. That works. Uh, I like to go with the. Uh, who did they call you? So who did they call you? Basically, what is your name? What are you called? Something like that. All right. Well, I'll give you another one because I hijacked this one. Okay. In Totem and in Ash and Reiti. Um, and I had this one I was not very confident on. I had um, you guys or y'all. Um, Brought him at what condition? The Ash and the Yeah, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, uh, let me let me make it a little bit better. So, uh, I would want to say, it. Uh, sorry, let's make it better. Let's go with oh I didn't know I could choose white. All right, that actually helps. And I can do this. Oh sweet. I didn't know there's another status. I would go with eta te ten. Try this. Um when did you guys? When? Why did you say when? Where is it now? Isn't it that when Etta is the first, um, the first in a sentence? Who? Okay. Who's it? No, just look at Etta. You use Etta before and you didn't say one. We had a ton of the sentence just before. Well, that's well, that's because they had the name. Okay. What do you have at the end? You're the one who told us about it last week. Um. Oh. What what conditions? Okay. I see. What condition did you guys bring him? Or how? Okay. Remember we talked about this. Also means how. Yeah. In what way? I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. It's it's very late. So I think we talked about it last week in Ash, and Riti. Uh, I'm doubtful about that's how it works, but he's translating it straight from an, an Ash in here. It means how or in what manner. So it would be how did 
y'all bring it or bring him. I don't know how the person will be. Okay. We'll come back to you again, but Peter has to do the next one first. Okay. Uh, it talks Jim Pai Jong So, um, um, uh, this is a question as well, right? Yep. So, um, when? Not when. Uh, where? Yes. I mean, yeah, it's either when. Uh, so where? Um, uh, did you find this book? Yeah. Find this book. Amazing. David, you still want to try another one? I I can I can try. I can give what I had for this one. I had um this is more probably English uh, more accurate in English. What sort of teaching is this? I like this. Let's go with this. Uashi mini is actually what kind? Mm -hmm. so it is what kind of teaching it is. Uh, so a uh, what kind of teaching is this? work guys we're done any question about the homework all right I wanted to check about um uh mini that can mean sign or miracle but it can also mean like kind or type so is it the same word or at least they're spelled the same so um uh, in this word is mine which we'll probably translate to mini i'm not sure if it's a typo or it's actually how it's written but they're definitely two different words uh, because in Sahidic we have mine and we have uh, mine for this one means yeah those are very different looking I see yes cool. and this one is a sign uh, they could have been merged just like we have in Sahidic actually in, in we have in Bahiric like the Ehri and Ikhrai and so he did both uh, This is actually a merger. Uh, similar here, it could have actually merged in Bahiric. Uh, the, the vocab does put them both as the same word, so it could be maybe not a typo. Yeah, I was wondering about that because they're um, they're spelled the same way in Bahiric, but that's good. Potentially, yes. Potentially yeah. the same. Well, those are pretty different meanings, which yeah. isn't uncommon, but it did seem kind of odd. Okay. Yeah, I guess I guess the only way we would really know is if we if um, um if they if they have different uh, genders, I don't know if they have different genders that could help. Not sure. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is we start doing our readings, and that's when we actually it's like okay, if you, we're gonna read two different readings from different places, what we see we know it's not a typo. It's how it works. Uh, Primary yeah. sources. No. I care more we get the structures right that when we encounter any vocab, it's just a matter of looking up dictionary. Ideally, we don't look up grammar books because those are the hardest, but dictionary is easy. That's why I don't worry too much about words. I mean, we need them for the homework, but like, is it meany or many? Uh, it's fine. Do you um, know what we're going to be reading um, once we get into text? We still yeah. have 12 more lessons right. before we do the text. So I have a few ideas. I'll run it by you all. We have different genres that I want to go through. So it can be like mix and match, or just one finish one thing and move to the other. Uh, but that's in 12 weeks. So we still have three more months to go. OK, well, we'll get there. Sounds okay. good. If you have ideas, think about it. And we'll, when it's time, we'll discuss. Sounds good. We'll definitely open it. It will be democratized. Don't worry, because there's not going to be a leader at this point. It'll be everyone reading a sentence and do their own analysis. All right, uh, next one. Next one is actually, this lesson is easy. Hopefully, we can finish under five minutes, not that we have to. Um, we have covered, oh, you can see my screen. Awesome. What we've covered so far is the past, what was called the first perfect, and everything that comes with it. What else we cover? First perfect and what? And imperative. Anything else? Second. Second, and second perfect. So things that happened in the past. Now we're just going to learn present. No idea why it comes near the end. I think yeah, present is easy and it is simple. Uh, much sim not much simpler. It's actually just as simple. Um, use the verb in the infinitive. Uh, lucky for y'all, the, the, the 
the present doesn't have the three forms. So it doesn't have pre nominal or pre pronominal form. It only uses the first form and the infinitives. I remember reading this, but if I'm wrong, let me know. We'll see in the examples. Um, the new thing, which is not totally new, are the prefixes, the pronouns. You have T, that means I. We've seen this before. Ek and te. And if you remember, these are the same pronouns that we've covered to do adverbial sentence. So if I want to say, I am at home, I would say T, gen, a. These are the exact same pronouns. So nothing here is new. F, S, or just F and S. Ten, Titan, and C. Uh, C is one of the very few leftovers from, an, from more ancient Egyptian, Peter would know that actually means, um, which refers to the third plural, a uh, third, yeah, yeah, the third person in the plural, uh, say. Everything else has been replaced by an U, which is actually Semitic, Semitic influence. Uh, so say is one of the last two or three remaining to actually come from ancient Egyptian. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, these are your prefixes. You've seen them before. If you haven't, time to look at them again. They're the same as using the pre um, at variable sentence. So I want to say, she's home, I would say, um, uh, actually, just nothing like this in Greek and Hyrek. So they're the same thing, same pronouns. Should be, shouldn't be new. Uh, if you don't remember the one from adverb sentence, if you know this one, you'll know the other ones. In um, in in a full sentence, when you don't have a pronoun, such a full noun, it's very simple. If it's definite, you just say Piromi, such the man speaks or be just the man speak. That's it, it's as simple as this. And it doesn't change with the, with gender or with number. Uh, we've also seen this before, can't remember when, where. Actually, it's actually the same thing, where we wanna say, oh, with an indefinite, I would say, one Uromi Saji, which is what we had, where we said, there is an elder on the road. We used to say, one U Hello. Um, he, he might. So exact same structure. It works in the same way we use for adverbial sentences. Um, if you might wonder why it's outside the scope of this, you don't need it, but for fun, if you remember when we said of, let's say of Saji, actually let's say of now a, I don't know, you look at, I don't know, the sun, for some reason you want to look at the sun. Of now a pre, we said it used to come from he did the looking number to the sun. And that's where we have an A, that's where the off come from. He, he, or he did the looking, he did looking to the sun. Um, in, the pre, in the present, it's actually used to be an adverbial sentence. So we said there was no concept of verbs. If you want to say, I'm looking to the sun, you say, I am doing, that's the verb, that's all you need for the verb, the looking, there's not a verb, to the sun. Right, son of the you, no, the son, the son. Similarly, in present, for the consonant verb, you would say, if I want to say, I am looking, if you, an English person would say, I am looking to the sun, you would say in Egyptian, I am upon the looking to the sun. So you would say, T, he, I say, I don't know about now, a, pre. That means I am upon, or I am unto the looking, I am upon the looking to the sun. That's why it falls the same way about verb sentence, because you can say, I am on the table. So you can say, T, he, trapeza. It's the exact same structure. I am on the table. T, I am T, he, trapeza. Eventually, the he got dropped. So you say, T now, but everything else remains the same. So I am upon, which disappeared, the looking to the sun. So I am I looking to the sun. So I look to the sun. Um, this is just some history. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm not an Egyptologist, just based on secondhand uh, listening to Christian Casey. Uh, and that's why they look the same at the adverbial sentence, because it used to be adverbial. Any questions here? Just wanted to say that um, in Aurelio's class, we're, um, we're learning about late Egyptian, and uh, the he is a um, hair, hair is the Egyptological pronunciation for it, and it's written as a little uh, head that is uh, facing. Uh, in profile, 
um, and it means the same thing as on, and it's used with a lot of the participles uh, to form finite verbs. So it's like mm -hmm. upon looking or that sort of thing. So I think the R drops off at the end and leaves the I drops. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what's that? Oh, one little thing about her. Where is she? Oh, a few things. One is Bahiric, one is everywhere. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick thing. Uh, actually, I'll skip this for now. I don't find it. Uh, one thing you need to know is Bahiric has aspirations, not an aspiration to be a better dialect, but aspiration as in like, ha, oh, sound. Um, so the K sometimes changes to K to the K sound. So this K, which is a second person, becomes K sound, which is K, which is an aspirated H, before some consonants. You'll just get used to them, but I just know them. The way I was I memorized them used to be Vel and then Nur. Vel Nur. If any verb starts with any of these consonants, remember this is a W. And that's a good reason to learn why U is a W. No, it's not U, it's a W in many cases, which is not common. It's not, it does not exist in the common, in the current Greco Bahiric translation, uh, pronunciation. You would change the K to a K. So, you say k kmei ekmei. So if you transliterate this, it'll be aspirated h mei. Similarly with wash, quash, ekvolevol. Um, it's pretty common that you actually get used to them. Just know that the k becomes an aspirated k. Just like what else we see? This it's not the pay. It's not the pie. That's uh, good for now. Just know that. And it's remembered as Velnur. Uh, so it's not O, it's actually U, uh, only U. No, not just O. Velnur. Question, any questions here? Just a really okay. I have a question, uh, Mark. Yes. So is it uh, like when you say uh, aspirated K, is it like Kha? No, that would be the Kha. Uh, David is best in doing the aspirated sounds. Yeah, I, I, I try my best to always do it so like you know, the fee or it's more like a heh and then theta is heh and then I always forget the name of this letter. I think it's like key. It's just heh, heh, heh. Usually usually you can usually you can feel in your lungs where your young lungs sort of just not quite collapse so they, they push out kind of violently in the sense of like heh. You can you can really feel it in in your um, in your in your lungs and throat. Uh, it's like tall cut. Yeah, it's like the kh. I just want to make sure it's not it's not the ch. No, it's not it's not a ch. Yeah, it's it's you can you can feel you can feel you can feel the the air being forced out when you're doing the ch for the aspirations. Um, At least I can. Uh, Peter, I'm not sure if it's the same as Ka. I am not sure, but I know I've seen ancient Coptic text, but many years after Coptic has almost officially died, where a theta, which is an aspirated T, is translated as a Ta. Um, could be a close, could be close enough, uh, best approximation to Arabic. Uh, but this was, I remember, this was in the 1300s, so that's uh, 300 years since Coptic ceased to exist. On a global scale in Egypt, well, not local, on a national scale, um, and then they put T as T. Uh, so it's like ta ta. Um, it's emphatic. The kaf and the ta are emphatic in Arabic, so it's not really emphatic. It's aspirated, um, and we can see that in Greek a lot. And sorry, in Sahidic a lot, where they actually put like, if they want to say pick ho, if they want to actually say pick ho, they would actually write this as. Ho. They would actually write this in Sahidic. Uh, te would just write, the common way of writing te is te. And we know he is a word on its own. Like it's T is the indefinite and is the definite article. Uh, so you know, at least in Sahidic, it was strictly TH and KH. Um, so we bring that to Buhairic and we see a lot of reasons why this is also the case in Buhairic. 
it would be very hard to know like how exactly they like pronounced it yeah. back then uh but it's a uh, I, I mean like um like we can say uh, is it like the sound we think it's like prison it's not prison in arabic for sure and in or english so N not in any language that i speak yeah, yeah. the the aspiration for like t does exist in english but the big th the big thing is that i can't think of any language that actually distinguishes aspiration so the big one is stop versus top where top is aspirated and the T and stop is not. That also assumes we speak uh, that we speak perfect English. Yeah, that is, that yeah. is also true. <laughs> but yeah, top, yeah, top and stop. You will actually feel more air in the top. I think already mm -hmm. showed me this one time. Uh, he was giving me an example and can see more air on my hand. Uh, but yeah, it's not something we consciously think about. But in Coptic, it's very distinct. I think probably the Arabic um, well, would be closer since there are different letters for different T sounds. But again, it sounds like one of them is emphatic in Arabic. So it's a different kind of distinction from yeah. the non emphatic. So, yeah. Uh, um, in, a lot in, of words, uh, come from like Latin and Greek, they, come, they become emphatic in Arabic just because it flows better. In um, a lot of uh, Indic languages, uh, so Indo European on the Indo side, there are a lot of um, like uh, Sanskrit and um, other um, in languages spoken in India. There is a huge distinction between words that have like uh, aspirated and non-aspirated. Uh, there is even a different letter form for all of them. So um, just something. But in English, we don't really distinguish it at all. So yeah, well, Arabic does. Uh, Sahidic doesn't. Sahidic doesn't have the concept of like like the theta doesn't exist unless you want to say t. Uh, so it's a very higher thing. Any more questions? All right, this was easy. Uh, negation, uh, easy, just put un. Uh, it's actually easy. It's same, exactly the same as that verbal sentence. Remember t, gen, a. You would say t, gen, a, un. So you just put the un, and the same as x, hi. Or if you want to make it even more, you said n, t, gen, a. You also put the t and the n in here. Uh, to add a little bit more as of just negation. Uh, this is like French, like no and pas. Uh, I think in spoken French, you can actually skip the no. Uh, je parle pas, but you can say je ne parle pas would be like the full sentence of saying the negation. Uh, not double negation, not emphasizing the negation. If you emphasize it, you probably want to put the whole thing, uh, but more like the full form. In t is chayan, en chayan, which is really annoying because a lot of words uh, have like something like NT actually has a meaning on its own, but then you have the NT that means no, and then the I. So can get annoyed. David, you're muted in case you're talking to us. Okay, it's not talking to us. We're not too cool. We're, he's too cool for us. Uh, okay, um, exactly the same as indefinite article. Uh, as a, a verbal sentence, one just becomes M1. One uchello chempimoit, M1 uchello chempimoit, M1 chello chempimoit, one uromi rimi, there is a man, let's say, upon crying, there's a man crying, no man is crying. So I would say this as no man cries. Uh, the, the tense in, in, in Coptic is more like is crying. Uh, if you want to say no man cries in general, like as a general fact, you would not use this present. You would actually use something called shari. Um, it's called uh, has a owl stick. I mean, I don't know what it's called, but not this one. This one is like no man is crying, uh, more specific rather than uh, a general fact. So this one is, uh, I think, probably a nomic or something where it's like general. Um... Um, the other one is like shari. Shari like means if you want to say no man cries. You would not use distance. Okay. But if you're yeah. like in general, like you're talking to someone, it's like men don't cry. That's not a tense you would use. Okay. But if you say, oh, I'm in the room and no man is crying, that's the tense you would use. Okay. So, so this one is okay. one that is describing a specific situation versus a general situation. Like it's happening. More like present continuous. It's okay. The closer one. It's like if ongoing it is, present continuous is doing. Yeah. If it is, if it is, Shari, just a quick look up says it's a, the basic aortist tense, 
And that is a more technical term that I'm not quite certain on. Oh, it's uh, aorist. That means uh, that's a Greek grammar thing. It means a uh, simple past, uh, but um, it can sometimes also gets used for like uh, uh, like simple, uh, like as a non-continuous, as a complete action. And it's not the same as in Greek. It actually says that in the book. It's not the same. Not not this book. We okay. It just says not the same way you would use it in Greek. Uh, it's not worry about it. All right, that's all about present. Any question about present? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right, future, exactly the same. Not a single change, except you add na after the, the, the pronoun. So it's exactly the same. T, na, ek, na, because this is an N from Vilm, Nur. It always, you always have an ek, just because you have always an N after. Te, na, the only exception is, you also, te, na can also be tera. I don't know why, I'm not a linguist, but tena can somehow become tera, which is the only exception. But fna, sna, tenna, tetenna, se na. So it's basically present as is plus na. No other changes. And it's a feature of like, I will go or I am going to. Uh, oh, sorry, or I am going to go. Just means something, I'm about to do something. No other change. Uh, negation exactly the same. You put the n in the same place. You put the un in the same place. It's exactly the same as present, just with the now. Any questions? Cool. All right, transitive verbs and intransitive. We talked about it briefly last week. Um, the only thing you need, to, we and we did mention. Uh, the only thing that's actually being mentioned here for sure is the medio passive i think uh, ben told us about it last week yes yeah middle passive or medio. the medio passive usage is in english we also have in english he closed the door the door closed doesn't mean the door did close to close someone it just being the door closed similarly we have it in coptic and now we have examples uh let's do it etaf joke and if ho evil that's that what we've covered so far so etaf that would be when he, I think it's real so far. Joke, say finished. And he finished. Enif, his, a whole days. And the evil is back to joke. When he finishes days, so on. You can also use the same verb as, as when. So it will be when. Nef will be his days. Joke evil, finished. Which is actually the same in English. Uh complete. When his days finished, or when he finished his days. So finished in English can mean it is finished, or I am, or he finished something else. So finish is a good way to see how in English it can refer to what is the thing being finished. A Coptic carries the exact same style, no other difference. And it called the medio passive users usage. It's not active, it's not passive voice, not active voice, somewhere in between. Uh users completed. Uh, but I think finish is a good one to show the difference. Any questions? Uh, okay, here he's giving some verbs where uh, I'm going to start with the examples. You'll confuse you for a bit, but then once you see the sentence doesn't make sense, it will it will kind of make sense. So you can say uh, one that shut me off before was like mu. Mu means to, to fill or to be filled. So I can say timu. So I am, I am filling, I filled the water or I am filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, works both ways. Um, any questions? Is there a, um, a passive voice um, in other lessons as well? Or is yeah. there a different uh, passive? passive voice would be what we did before with like, if you want to say they filled me, you'd be like, ow, more. Oh, right. The third person plural, which yeah. looks like they filled. Yes. OK. Uh, but if I say, aimu, it means, I filled, so let's say I filled the cup, or I am filled, let's say, with the Holy Spirit. Right, it would look like they filled me, but it uh, really means yeah, uh, right. I was filled. I was filled. Right. Then, then it would be, I'll me. they filled me with something. But I can say, just say, I move. Basically, not I am filled, but I'd say I am full. Okay. Okay. So cool. to, to to be filled, to to be opened, 
so I open, so the door opened, so it means the door is opened, the door is to be opened, or the door, some, or I open the door. Uh, if it confuses you, remember it exists in English, which means just a matter of getting used to it. Don't just double checking the middle passive tense has, uh, or if it's our middle passive voice, um, in the it looks like the present tense, and does it have any other distinguishing? No, no, it doesn't features? look like the present tense. It can use like any way as like any other tense. Uh, it's just the meaning. You can say his when his day is finished, or when he finishes his days. It can also be present when when you finish. Right, your, it's a voice, not a tense. Hmm? That makes sense. It's a voice, not a tense. That makes sense. Um, I was just trying to ask, is there um, uh, some uh, different spelling for middle passive? Oh, no, no. It's exactly the same verb, just like we say finish. OK. It's just another use of it. Yes, the yes. Same tense. The verb can be used both ways. The same form can be used. For, OK, I got it. Cool. Just one check. Thanks. All right. Uh, and then the last part, as usual, we uh, we try to cover a few of the infinitives. This is the verb on the rhymes is koti. So koti, as you could have probably guessed, the O becomes an A, because I'm stressed. The E at the end is dropped, so koti, ket. And then the O is shortened via kotf. So here will be like, uh, to turn, I don't know. Uh, this is the next one, soti, same thing, set, and then sot. So you can say sotif, that means he saved him, or you can say set uh, peflaus, peflaus, which means, or soti, m peflaus. Just a reminder of how it works. So soti and peflaus, or sit peflaus, because it stresses on the peflaus, or you can say sotf. Uh, homie, what does it mean? Straddle, stand on, homie, hem, hem. Uh, that's all. There is Greek. Don't worry about it. Um, it's out of the sky scope. Uh, I read it today. It was just fun to read, because we use some Greeks. But it will not be part of the homework. You don't have to worry about it much. Complete your, complete your choice if you want to actually read it. It's, yeah, I thought it was a fun read. Yeah, we have a decently long home. No, ah, it's longish. All right, that's all. And I have 16% battery. Nice. Any questions? All right. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the homework. I will Thank you so much. And I will stop recording in case I don't have anything.